Spy X Family, episode 20. Investigate the General Hospital. Oh, is it Career Exploration Day? Oh no! Anya's mind immediately goes to spy and assassin, but what she's gonna get is psychologist and uh, administrator? He means that doesn't care. <laughs> On his face. <laughs> She, yeah, she immediately goes to Assassin too. You have another one. You have another one. This is Anya's greatest dream and fantasy. How about yours lonely? I bet you would, on some level, like the idea of sharing it. Interesting how proud she is of her work. It wasn't part of school, but I shadowed both my parents on their respective and multiple jobs. I even worked at my mom's job starting when I was 10, 11. I learned a lot of valuable lessons, like employment sucks. They sort of have to be for them to get away with this, with your being a killer. I wonder if that'll ever come up. What happens when yours put up against someone that she cares about or doesn't hate? Like, for example, Lloyd. There's something so humanizing about this, the fact that she's narrating her whole job in a fantasy, when you have long conversations with other, other people in your head. Yeah, that seems like a fragile idea. She's putting all of her moral agency in this shopkeeper. <laughs> Anya, is this what you wanted? Are you ready for this? Of course, Anya's hearing all this too. That is just disgusting. Lying to Lloyd. <laughs> I don't think we've actually seen him do any work in the series so far yet, right? He hasn't done any psychological, psychiatry work. <laughs> just pushing that terrible insult to the side in service to the mission. Gee, Anya, I'm sorry that you had to experience that from up here. You're not dumb. You are loved by your father. Unlike Damien, is what he could have said. <laughs> the co-workers are the audience. Everyone sends for Lloyd. <laughs> Not to mention dev devilishly good looking. But I think somehow that actually adds to his allure. He's a very charismatic character that comes across really naturally. I think it's a combination of the fact that he's really reliable, competent, but then also is a little bit withdrawn, so he gives you the impression he has everything he needs already. I wonder how much of charisma comes down to that. The absence of requests and interactions, if that makes sense. Being self-reliant, being a sort of self-generated source of everything or appearing that way. This is a truly bizarre character connection, but you might say the same thing about Makima and Chainsaw Man. She gives you the same idea that she can do whatever she wants, has whatever she wants, can get whatever she needs, and more than that, things you want all without you. He's kind of in a stern mood today. I wonder if that'll ever come into play. It's only been like 20 minutes. Sand! <laughs> Have this bowl of sand. I, uh, have a feeling she's gonna be entering a secret passageway. Were you not invited to the amusement park episode? It's a damn shame. They must really not like you. I wonder if Lloyd will ever figure out... I mean, it's tough, how would you figure it out, but... Her psychic abilities. <laughs> Charlie Brown grew up and became a psychiatrist. Whatever you do, don't burst the pipe. Oh, it's a ghost. Wow, we went there so quickly as medical professionals. I can't believe she actually got away with that. 
You should know something is, is suspicious. Something's up when you give a four-year-old child a box of sand and it's all in the box when you come back. <laughs> to be real, Anna's seen and heard some pretty messed up stuff. I feel like the only thing saving her is just the fact that she doesn't fully comprehend what she's seeing or hearing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Why am I surprised? Why did I get caught by that? It should have been so obvious. Target? <laughs> well, I don't think Lloyd vetted this report. <laughs> I got the feeling. Yeah, I got a. Disturbance in the force. Anna just gave up, almost just gave up the whole game. Mission 20, decipher the code. And notice Bor fa faithfully by her side. Damn, it looks printed. I'm so tempted to pause the video and try to solve it. You can trust Borf. He's a good boy. I feel like Anya's gonna go so far in her life just with her precocious energy if she survives. Well, they cracked the code of Anya's heart. Hey, it's everyone, everyone's favorite Uncle Frankie, aka Scruffy Head. Top secret. If you can solve it, maybe you'll be smart enough to receive daddy's love. That's all that Frankie needed to know to invest his entire night. Oh no, oh no, poor Frankie. I'm so sorry. He came with flowers. Oh, I really want this man to find someone for him. He has not slept. This man has not slept. Right now, all we're doing is cracking the code of Frankie's loneliness. What a good dog. What a good boy. Poor Frankie! He's the victim of this whole episode. My man doesn't deserve that. He deserves... Well, I don't know what he deserves. He sort of did that to himself. Wrote a whole fanfic about his love life. Is it just me or was this an especially tense episode between Lloyd and Anya? Not to be hard on the guy. Like, he's doing a lot at once and he just became a father. And I'm not going to say that I understand what parenting is like. I do know it's very difficult. Impossible to get perfect. But I wonder when that transition is going to happen. When it stops being so much about the mission and more about their bond. Their direct father-daughter bond.